Welcome back to Drink. My name is from Illegal Mezcal. And today, we're going to learn the Midori Sour. Now cut back. You're like, we're going to learn the Midori Sour? Yes, that's what I said. We're going to learn the Midori Sour. Not the shitty club version from the 90s. We're going to do a little bit more cleaned up, refined version of this cocktail. Something you can serve in your bars, something you can be proud of, and something that tastes damn good. So, let's get started. First off, we have one egg white. And for the purpose of this video, I pre-cracked it into here. Just a little bit easier for me to just dump in the, in the tin for you. Let's set that aside. We'll come back to that. Next ingredient. We have some simple syrup. A half ounce to be exact. That's just going to provide a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of balance to the cocktail. Next, we have a half ounce of fresh lemon juice. We have our sweet, we have our sour, but we're not done with our juice. Let's add about a half ounce of pineapple juice. Next ingredient. Let's talk about this one for a second. We have yuzu, a Japanese citrus, a little bit of salinity, a very distinct flavor. It will go very far in a drink. Half ounce of that. It goes really far, it's really expensive, that's just enough. Next, dun 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 dun, let's talk about all your favorite ingredient, Midori. Midori comes from the Jidori melon in Japan, a really pricey melon. Now, at some point, someone thought it was a good idea to make this into liqueur. And thank God for that person, because now we have the co-star of our film, Midori. Now, I think the key to Midori is using it sparingly. We never want too much of this. Kind of like Gary Busey. We don't want too much of Gary Busey in the film. We can do him for like two minutes, three minutes max. But any more than that, we're good. Thanks, Busey. Now, the real star of our show, Illegal Mezcal. This is going to be the base of this cocktail. We're going to use about an ounce and a half. Now, we're going to use an ounce and a half because Midori has practically no liquor in it at all. So, we're thinking of it more of the flavoring component. So, we have all our ingredients. Let's grab this beautiful clear ice block and put it in our tin. And let's shake this up. So, now first off, we want to kind of temper our cube. And when I say temper, we're shaking it really soft, just kind of letting it settle in our tin before we give it a hard shake. The idea here is to create a nice foam. That's what the egg white was for. So now that we got our, our rock tempered, we'll give it a nice heart shake. Shake it for about five, six more seconds. You usually start to feel your tin getting cold as you're shaking. That's when you know you're about done. And that'll work. Nice, creamy, frothy texture. Looks beautiful. So, now you're going to want to grab your Hawthorne strainer and your fine strainer and pour away. Look at that beautiful, creamy, frothy texture to it. Looks good to me. All the babes in the club are going to be waiting for this one. Not. Put this shit aside. And now for our garnish. Now you're probably waiting for me to pull out this pretentious uh, maraschino cherry. No, we're going to use an old school cherry. Like the one in the club. There you go. The Midori Sour. Cheers.